All right, guys, promised you we're going to be going to my favorite grocery store in Oslo. So this is Jacob's. You can see the sign there. Very, very old. It's been around since we've done a bit of research. 1933. So, God, that'll be, you know, give it a few more years, it'll be 100 years old. Um, these guys officially started their business with bread. So it was essentially a baker's as such before it was anything else. Um, they introduced the selling of poultry, you know, meat and fish um, thereafter. And then shortly after that, confectory as well. So it became an all-round store. But these guys started initially of bread. It is family owned. Uh, the gentleman that owned it originally, I don't know what's the deal going on now, if he's still around, I'm not too sure. Um, but initially he hired his sister to help him run the business. So it's been in the family for ages. Um, Yannicka's father actually knows the gentleman that's behind this store. Um, so he gave us permission to come and do some filming today. So I just wanted to say thank you. Um, we're going to go in and today we've got to buy some fish for dinner for later. We have been shopping already this week. So we came in a few days ago. Um, I've got a separate video that I might put at the end of this video so you can see what I bought from here. Um, so yeah, obviously did my bodybuilder shop earlier in the week. So we're going to head in. We're going to meet a gentleman to uh, give us the all clear. We've been given code names. So we're going to head in and I'm literally just going to show you some good quality stuff that we have in here today. We'll look at the fish that we buy, um, give you some pointers of some good foods that are great for bodybuilding, great for bulking, uh, maybe some that are good for your diet phase. Just give you a little bit of an insight of some of the good foods that are available in here and things that will help you with your bodybuilding goals. So we're going to head in and get warm because Janneke's shaking. Right, guys, before we've even got in the store, Janneke has something very valuable to point out about recycling in this country. So I think this is pretty much shown you. Yeah, so when you buy anything that is in a plastic bottle, yeah. you pay an extra fee per bottle, yeah. like 20p or 50p. Yeah. And then when the bottle is empty, you take it back to a supermarket. One of these. You put it into the machine, and then you get your money back. And I see it says glass, metal, plastic, paper. Can you do a few different so things? Like, that's what General glass recycling. bottles that don't go in the machines, yeah. Okay. And if you feel lucky, you can do like a lottery. So instead of asking for your money to come back, you can press a lottery button and you might win a million. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. So it's incentive. Yeah. So that's before you even get in the store, guys. So just a little cool insight to some of the things that go on here in Norway. Okay. That's and, Norway. And there's a lovely picture of Norway at the bottom. That's why we have a beautiful green country, because we recycle. Beautiful white country today. It's very snowy. All right, guys. Obviously, we're after fish today. So this is the fish counter. One thing I'll tell you about Norway is you're not going to beat them on fish. So we had uh, poker bowls a couple of days ago. You can literally walk into a store like this and buy a literal roll of su like sushi grade salmon. Um, you probably can get this in the UK, but I haven't seen it. Like literally I've gone in a store, looked around, never found this. So you can literally come in here, buy this. You can do your own nigiri. You can do your own poke bowls. It's just ready to go. And obviously salmon, a lot of this is going to be sourced from these seas. Very, very good. It even says ultra fresh. Yep. Ultra fresh Norwegian salmon. Um, thing about salmon as well, very very good for anyone that's obviously trying to um, number one stay healthy but number two if you are a bodybuilder if you are trying to put on muscle obviously very very rich in protein very good essential fats in there as well different salmon has different like levels of fat so it's always worth looking on the back of your packs of your salmon to see whether you want a fattier salmon or, or, or a leaner salmon obviously the fats that you do get in the salmon even if it is fattier they are good fats, so don't be like, oh God, the fat content's really high, I should stay away from that. The only time you want to really avoid that is just if you are trying to simply pull back calories pre-contest or something like that. Um, you get seagulls. Yeah, there's fake seagull sounds in here to make you feel like you're at the beach. Like, it's literally like literally being an, um, at the seaside. What have we got here then? So we've got some, what's this one, Yannicka? Tofisk. Tofisk is like, uh, it's dried, it's like dried out fish. Salted dried fish, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you see it up north. Yeah, this is quite cool. You do get this in the UK, but you see this more so with Caribbean foods. A lot of time Caribbean people like having their foods like this as well. So that's interesting that you have that. Obviously you've got your, yeah, this is just all your frozen. Um, these are your, do you call them shrimps or prawns? They are the big ones. So they are do they, do they count? Shrimps. Okay, and then obviously you've got your 
non cooked. So what, yeah, cooked and non yeah, when they're pink, they're cooked already. So they, they actually get the color from being cooked. So these ones you could take home and likely just defrost and then eat if you wanted to. You can obviously recook them, reheat them as well. Um, so yeah, this is the frozen section. Here's your fresh ones. Are they still frozen? So they, you still have to pick the, um, the heads off of these and the legs. Yeah. So in Norway, these are very, very traditional. Normally have this with bread, um, you have a mayonnaise. So bread and mayonnaise. It's very different than how we would have this in the UK. In the UK, we would obviously have this in one of our warm dishes, like for a dinner. In Norway, literally, you simply just have like slices of bread. You have a massive bowl of these in the middle of the table. You just help yourself. You pick out as many as you want, and then you you break them down and a lot of the time you can either have them on the bread with the mayo um, so it's like they don't have sandwiches in Norway they don't close the bread so it'll be a literal piece of bread mayonnaise and then the uh, prawn on top Janneke just raised uh, awareness of something to me a very traditional Norwegian dish so it's basically just the, the, the bone with the last bits of meat on and she said to me that they would, what would you do with this, Jennica? You cook it on wooden sticks, like boil it, steam it. Wait, but if you cook it on a wooden stick, in what fashion do you do? In a pot. Yeah. And then steam cook it yeah. on wooden sticks. Okay. All right, fresh fish. I'm going to go on Jennica's right hand side so she can talk into my microphone. What have we got here, Jan? I can't. That's, that's I, like smoked, isn't it? That looks smoked. That's mackerel. Yep. That looks very familiar actually. So we've got mackerel at the back there on yeah. the kind of golden colored fish. Yeah. What's this one at the front? Oh, that's the fish tray we make in this uh, toxic stuff. Lutefisk, Lutefisk. I think. Lutefisk. That looks like lutefisk. Okay. What is, is this monkfish? No. I don't even know what that is. Say? I don't know. It doesn't necessarily translate, does I it? I am, I'm not very good with fish names in English. I don't know what. It, oh, they still have lobsters. Oh, the lobsters are still here. Oh, yes. So they are still here. So some of these white fishes are like in season when it's winter. At the top of the back, what is that, like a row or something? I don't know what that is. I don't know. But it just goes to show you, we don't know much about seafood. <laughs> uh, oysters, oysters, obviously we know what they are, we know what mussels are. Fresh obviously some prawns. more fresh prawns. And then we've got our crabs. You've got the body of the crab or you've got the arm. Crab meat is quite nice, isn't it? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. You prefer uh, lobster. lobster? Okay. All right, so that's the fresh fish, and we couldn't name more than two. <laughs> Just goes to show. Obviously, you have all your fish like this as well, your pre packed. Uh, some of it's smoked, um, some of it's, I think they have a steamed one as well. So, this is all your salmon. So, this is your salmon now. Um, fish cakes as well, they do like a hot Caviar. section. Caviar is pretty big here, isn't it? You get different types of caviar, so you get this kind of caviar, which is the big eggs, and then you get the the tiny black caviar, don't you, as well? They come from different fish. Yeah. What, what do you prefer? I don't like caviar. Do you not? But then you eat caviar out of the tube. Yeah, but that's like spreadable caviar. Okay, so in Norway they have like a toothpaste pack that has caviar in it, so it's like liquidized. So she doesn't like actual caviar, but she will eat that. Okay. Just because the texture? Okay. Right, we're going to move on to the poultry. Absolutely, man. Especially here in Norway. Yeah. I'm obviously from London, and our food's not as not as good. So we've got a. This is a salmon. Yeah. It's a big boy. It weighs. It's a. Uh, it's 114. Whatever that is. In, in weight. In okay. And then we have. Well. What are these? That's the other one. Do you know what fish that is? She has no idea what fish it is. But anyway, we end up with we're gonna probably pick this fish for dinner tonight. So we just thought we'd show you. But I do like the salmon. It's massive. <laughs> Right, we've done a Google Translate. So we've got, a, we didn't know what that one is because it translates to crazy. This one translates to um, bream. And then this one is halibut. So it's all the ones that we know. We've got pollock over on the far left as well. So it's all the same fish that we'd get in the UK. It's just that it's hard to identify. So yeah. And as we said, we've got a choice now between a giant salmon. salmon? It's probably not even a giant salmon. It's or not even trout. a We're probably gonna go for the trout. Right, local traditional dish. Can't say I'm a fan, but a Norwegian's best friend. Meatballs. I don't know how much meat is actually in these though. But it's 85%. What is that? Meat. 
Yeah. 85% meat. It just says meat? Yeah. So it doesn't tell you. Okay, from cow. So it's 85%. What's the rest of it then? Milk. Milk. Onion. Potato starch. That's why it's a bit, that, that texture is the potato yeah. starch. Salt. Antioxidant. Spices. That's it. You love these, don't you? I love it. And you have this with a sauce? Brown sauce. And what is in the brown sauce? Do you it's know? Like a brown gravy. Okay. A and is this the same, but like a loaf? Yeah, that's like a loaf. And it has slightly lower. A lot lower meat. Yeah. 58, yeah. Okay. When would you have this then? I don't know. I don't really. Have you not had this one? No. And then are these similar, but just different, like burger style? Yeah, this is uh, more like burger style. Yeah. Yeah. This. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, there's mousse. Okay. So you have a mousse. And is that a mousse burger or is that a mousse? Yeah, it's like a patty. Okay. It's only forty percent. Yeah. And then there's pork as well. Okay. To be fair though, when you mix pork and uh, uh, a dark meat, it tastes really good. Some of the best meatballs I've ever had, um, best bolognese I've ever had is the mixture between pork and beef. Yeah. It tastes so good. All right. Sausages. <coughs> We've got sausages here. Are sausages big in Norway? But you like actual hot dogs in Norway, don't you? So like this kind of style at the bottom. In the potato wrap. Yeah, normally. So the hot dogs we have like, if we, I know when we went skiing before, because um, hot dogs you can just heat up and put in a bun. So they have wraps here or potato. You can either have a bun or they have a potato wrap. I like the potato wraps. And, yeah, they're really good. And then you have that. You obviously have your sausage in there, your hot dog. Bit of um, fried onion. Um, and then obviously your mustard, ketchup. It's basically what we'd have back in the UK, but just in the potato wrap instead. This is like the confectionery stuff, isn't it? Here's that lasagna. Nice stuff. So we came here in the evening the other day, so we didn't get to see all this nice stuff. Pasta looks good. The broccoli salad has been popular. Yeah, very popular. This looks good. Yeah. I actually, I like a cold, uh, a cold pasta, yeah. if it has the right stuff in it. Uh, so we got some chicken skewers. Bacon burger. Yeah. Um, what's this one, Yannicka? Uh, it's like a beef, beef stew. Okay, and we got some... I don't know, they look Tapas like meat. meatballs. Nice. So obviously, yeah, if you guys come in here, you can obviously just get your ready to go stuff as well. It's kind of like Whole Foods. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Oh, marinated chicken. Marinated chicken breasts. Um, we've got, I think they're the, they're the uh, thighs. Liver. Chicken legs. Obviously you've got liver. Livers. Lots of different beef cuts here as well. Very got the fillet at the back, I think. Um, a ribeye, I believe. Very, very good. It's a really, really nice meat in here, guys. Lovely. So this is veal. A lot more tender than your regular beef. Lamb. They look good. Um, what's this one, Yannicka? Beef. It's just uh, like a fajita. It's yep. mixed. Yep. Lamb shank. Lamb. Moving on to pork now. This is pork. Yep. Obviously you've got your pork chops and stuff. More, more liver. Got some more liver here. So liver's really liver. easy, yeah. Liver's really easy to identify because it just looks like a giant kidney bean. And then we got some, uh, oh, we got some. Desserts. Some, yeah. These look pretty good. These are made here in Jacobs. We used to um, eat these as a kid. You see the biscuit that's in there? Oh, yeah. It's like a, yeah, biscuits. really soft finger biscuit. Is that not what you put into making a tiramisu? Yeah. Oh, okay. That is tiramisu. So that is actually tiramisu. Nice. What is this one? It's probably what you're serving. Looks good. You can taste it if you want. I wouldn't mind trying a little bit, is that right? Yeah. We'll have a little go. So this one, Yannick, what is this one? This is the San Daniel from Chateria, mm. the number one brand in Italy for cold meats, and it's on promotion. It's very nice. You're not yeah. Norwegian. I'm not Norwegian, neither are you. Nor am I. <laughs> <laughs> we can speak to each other. Yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. That's actually really, really good. Yeah. That would be, um, what would be your su suggestion? What would you have that with? How would you serve that? Um, like well, you could either have it, yes, exactly, as, as tapas with some cheese, some olives. We've got some fantastic olives on the deli counter as well. Yeah. Some nocolara. So we'd like green olives. That would go really nicely with it. So you can have this on a, a board? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It will also be really nice on a pizza. Yes, that's what I was thinking. My, my mind's thinking pizza or... Um, I'm a sucker for a nice, like, sandwich as well. Yeah. So if you have a good bread. Yeah. Obviously, you can be quite particular with your bread. You can have like yeah. a, a ciabatta or something like that. Yeah, exactly. But you could also do the, uh, they have a really nice sourdough. Yeah. 
That'd be good. Um, a little bit um, English bent here. Yeah. Some Montgomery cheddar. Yeah. With this would be would be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Very very good. So this is on sale in Jacobs. Thank you to my man here for helping us out. We're just filming for my YouTube, so we yeah. we don't have to show faces. So it's no whether you want it's whether you want to say hello or not. Do you want do you want to say hello? I can say hello. Yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. Come down to Jacobs, buy some San Daniel that's on promotion today. Absolutely. Make sure you get down here, guys. Thank you so much. Honestly, appreciate you, man. You're Thank welcome. You. All right, we're going to move on. I'll, I'll probably be back for a pack in a bit. We're just getting some fish as well. Yeah. Take care, my friend. Take care. Thank you. Essential fat aisle, because you've got things like obviously your coconut. Yeah. You've got your coconut oils, which is a great saturated fat. We have walnut oil here. Now, avocado oil is a great oil because it has a really, really high smoke point. So a lot of the time when you're cooking, a lot of people cook with olive oil and don't realize that the smoke point is quite low. So what actually happens is you denature the, the oil. See, a lot of these oils are great, but a lot of them you'd use as a dressing. Yeah. So instead of being a, a cooking oil, there'd be a dressing oil. So just takes being familiar with, with what does what. Extra virgin olive oil is one of the best oils for you if you use it as a, 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 a you know a condiment. If you drizzle it on top of your food, your salads, um, even if you use it as an alternative to butter on breads, um, it's it's fantastic. I love virgin uh, olive oil, and um, when you're trying to meet a certain demand of fats today, it's one of the easiest ways to get it in without feeling too full up. Steak, beef, steak. So it's a steak mix. Beef so these beef. are your pre-mix, pasta mix, yeah. potato mix. Nice. Fish mix. Chicken, lamb. fish, lamb. Yeah. See, lamb couldn't be spelled any easier, could it? And nor could fisk. This is heaven. Skolabula. So this is the traditional Norwegian kind of... It's not a cake, but it's a... Do you even consider it a dessert? Or is it's it a like, snack? It's snacks, like in between meals when you're a bit peckish. Yeah. I hate to like give too much credit, but it is actually that good. I had one yesterday before the gym and I was like, this hits differently. Okay guys, so this is the um, potato wraps that we were talking about earlier. So if you do, do get your hot dogs, you have to try these. So yeah, they're 85% potato. And then obviously it's gonna be some Flour. other bits and bobs just to keep them stick together. But Flour these, these are great, honestly. Try them out. Lumpa, lumpa, the best. Okay, so we are in here a couple of days ago and we didn't get almond butter because we were unaware that they sell it. But now, we just found they have pippa nut. I don't need a big one, I might just get a small crunch one. This one's really good. Again, another really good um, source of fat. Almonds are like right up there. Almonds and macadamia nuts are like the top two nuts for, for fats. So I'm gonna grab a pot of this today. All right guys, this is another traditional one. There's a lot of traditional things here. Brown cheese. It is actually nice. It has like a caramel. Yeah, caramelly taste. Um, Yannicka likes her brown cheese with. What do you like it with? You can have it on waffles. Waffles, toast. Or toast. Yeah, but what do you like with it? Do you have anything Bagels. with it or do you have the. It's on its own. Yeah. Or you can put some strawberry jam on it. What did Luke like having it with? Strawberry jam. Okay, so a friend of mine in the UK, Luke, one of my best mates, we bring him Matness normally when we're here, and he likes his with jam. And it goes really well because it's that contrast in flavour. Yeah, hot yeah, hot crumpet, jam. It's weird because it's like you wouldn't think of cheese and jam, but it's not like regular cheese. You have to give it a try to understand how it tastes. So if you're in Norway, brown cheese and a bit of jam. That's why the jams, conveniently, are all here. <laughs> because you can have cheese and jam. Right, so cereal isn't really a big thing. Cereal is like a treat at the weekend or something. Yeah. And what cereal would you have had at the weekend if you did have a treat? Would it have been something like this? Cornflakes. Yeah, yeah. So you don't get into those um, overly exaggerated cereal that they have in America. We don't need that much sugar. Yeah. So there you go. What about like granola and stuff? Is that something that people eat here? Yeah, more like with yogurt. Yeah, rather than with milk. Yeah. Okay. Granola is another good, um, yeah, the good decent granola. It's obviously a really good carbohydrate source. Often they have some really good fats in there if they have specific nuts depends what mix you choose but if you choose a nut mix then you're going to get a lot of good fats as well I dumla, granola. dumla granola is that this yeah. oh so dumla's the caramel um Chocolate. biscuits you got yeah i but bet dumla is a it's a brand brand. itself yeah. well the thing is though you know that's not gluten-free so you ain't getting that 
there's no way in hell. Right, obviously this video is kind of like a tour of the shop, but it's also like trying to give you some ideas of good quality foods. Again, another really, really good protein source and a really good fat source is your eggs. Um, if you can, the one thing you want to try and identify is if they're pasture raised or not. If they're pasture raised, that's the go-to. Just means more freedom, um, more ability to have light and space and air and uh, be able to eat more um, quality uh, food themselves and obviously if the chicken itself is eating better then the nutrients you get from the chicken is better as well. All right, fruit and vegetables guys. I know that a lot of the time in what we do we kind of neglect them to create space for the basics like the the complex carbs and the, the, the protein but if you can obviously try and squeeze in a good serving of fruit as well day. Massive massive advocate of apples because of the, uh, the polyphenols and the fiber. When you're thinking about heart health and longevity, fruits like apples and that really do contribute to you being healthier. Uh, lemon is fantastic for you, fantastic for your liver. You don't even really need to eat a, a lemon, but if you could have a lemon a day and squeeze those juices into warm water and drink that in the morning, that's very, very good for your liver. Le really good to detox. So this is Yannicka's section. Obviously, is it? Okay, so obviously Yannicka's um, celiac, so she has loads of choice in here. So any of you guys that are in the same position, or even if you're just intolerant and you have a real issue with eating foods, they have a good selection here. Loads of stuff to choose from. And a nice cute fireplace. Um, the only other thing I was gonna say, really, is obviously your rice, your potatoes, potatoes are just out there. That's your basic carbs. There's not really much rotation in what carbs you can eat, to be fair. I feel like over the years of training, the two that seem to just go down easy are that. I do eat bread in the off season, like I said earlier with the, um, the homemade bread. But as contests roll about, I tend to decrease the amount of bread I eat just because I do get a bit bloated from the, probably from the wheat that's in there. Um, so your rice, your potato, Oats are good for a lot of people, but sometimes even with that, people bloat quite, quite badly. Um, cream of rice, if you're in a country that sells it, does the job. It's obviously just rice that's granulated and a lot easier to digest because it's already, basically already pretty much broken down. Um, uh, choice of rice, jasmine. You can get the ball in the bag as well. Need to explain what this is. Uh, that's good. I can't really explain what it is, but it's good. <laughs> it's extremely good. It's, we had it at Christmas time. Oh, that's what I might Yeah. What do you prefer? Uh, the rice one. Okay. Yannick yeah, just spotted uh, the reindeer. This is what we had for dinner last night, but we had the in the fillet, this one. This is what we had last night for dinner. Right, just come across this as well, guys. Moose meat. One gram of fat per 100. 22 grams of protein. Woo! That's a good one. Yannicka's just uh, queuing up. This is the game fridge, so this sells all the birds. I have no idea what these birds are, but you can see they're little. We've got some moose meat in there as well. All right, we've come and conquered. So we got ourselves about three kilograms of trout. trout. So that's dinner tonight, guys. And that was Jacob's. Um, I know I ramble on, I just kind of waffle. But I hope you enjoyed the little tour of the store. We're off back home now to Yannicka's parents. I'm actually hungry, so I'm gonna have my second meal. And then we're gonna go train in a little while. Probably pop into Oslo first to get a coffee. I think, because uh, we got up a bit earlier today, didn't we? So yeah, time to head back. Say goodbye to the video, Yannicka. Trout, not you, trout. This is a big old trout, three kilo trout, and it is stuffed with all the good stuff. Uh, dill, butter I can see. Oh, you actually, Yannicka's actually touching something for once. Uh, got some lemon in there. Some pepper and I imagine some salt. Salt pepper. Looks great. So that's dinner tonight. All for me. <laughs> Not sharing. 
It's one protein milk. But yeah, look, that's you don't get quality like that in other places, so looks fantastic. So yeah. And it doesn't take that long to cook either. One hour. One hour. Can it goes like twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about twenty minutes. An hour. Yeah, it's good. Looking forward to that. And it's got a little face. Got teeth. Kiss it. Might turn into a prince. Look at the teeth. Okay, some people might not love fish faces. <laughs> <laughs>